link up with our broadcast team of Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, no trip to the Northwest is really complete without a little rain, and we're going to get plenty of it here at Century Link Field in Seattle. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Dallas Cowboys and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. An early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. When I think of Russell Wilson, I think not just of the big plays that he's made, and those are considerable, but when they were made. Fourth and 26 in a Big Ten championship game against Michigan State when he is with Wisconsin. A big completion helped lead his team to a victory. A big fourth down throw for a touchdown in an NFC championship game against the San Francisco 49ers. When the chips are down, this guy plays at a big level. And this offense often hinges on one of the best tight ends in the league, and that's Jimmy Graham. I think he made up for lost time when he got to the NFL because in college, he was mainly a basketball player, a defender who couldn't score. Now he's flipped it around in the NFL. Every time he touches the ball, he's a threat to score. They run again with Peterson. One yard and now no yards have him looking up at a third and nine situation. And a look at the defense for the Cowboys. Randy Gregory entered the league with people excited about his pass rushing skills. They continue to stay excited about his potential. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. On third down, Wilson. He's got Evans. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership, a big-time run, combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line, showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. His odometer is not totally turned over yet. They run again on first down. Peterson trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Sean Lee, the pro bowler there for the tackle. On second down, Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And some room to roam now. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Play fake here on first down. His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. You and he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Adrian Peterson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. So that'll do it for the first quarter as we kick off another season. 7-0 is our score. We'll be back to Seattle right after this. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Now it's Lockett. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. A good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Two minutes to play here in the first half. A reminder coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of our first half. LR, that's my man. That's your guy. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's third and short. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Kaepernick looking to throw, third and two. He's going to loft one, deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play on third down for the Seahawks. 52 yards. Well, there's a new man here under center. What do you think they saw to acquire him, Charles? I think they went back to their old scouting reports because those never go away. And I think that they liked him when he was coming out of school. Didn't have the opportunity to get him. But now with this opportunity, they think they can get him back to his former level. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Kaepernick to throw on second down. Being and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Colin Kaepernick. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Now Hausch could attack on the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive there of just four plays. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. now to send this one away following the score. This fielded at the two. 
And he'll take it past the 20, fought down, but not check, before check, check. reaching the eight-yard line. Goal line offense, something they've really been emphasizing in practice lately. Now they have a chance here to put all that hard work to use. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Certainly some contact there, and that's why there's a penalty on the defender for pass interference. So hard to time it up for a defender to hit the receiver when the ball arrives. Got there a little bit early on that one. And Bailey able to knock it through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So a field goal here. They're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we send you now to Orlando and our Tiburon Studios where Larry Ridley standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Returnable for Lockett. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. That goes for a gain of 31. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin undrafted out of Stanford and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola. And then, of course, to Stanford. And boy, he's been good. First down. Here's a run with Peterson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Adrian Peterson, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Not only touchdown number two for him, but a big run to boot. However, still trailing. Still trailing, but not because of his efforts. Boy, he's playing really well, and I love his long speed there, right? Able to get out there and burst all the way to the end zone and smart enough to keep the ball in his hands and get into the end zone for the touchdown. In, in 2016, on all levels of football, we're seeing guys drop it before the goal line. What's the rule, Brandon? Run into the goal, to the post, goal post That's right. before you, you drop taught the me ball. That. There you go. Hausch get out to send this one away following the score. This will be taken in at the one. Look at the spin. Yeah, not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. 
They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Set, right 18. Right. Running with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you think to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see, love we'll it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. Steps away to his left. Kaepernick hit. Fumble. He lost the football. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. In today's NFL, most teams don't have as many goals for the game like we used to have where you checked off your boxes. But zero turnovers, that, that's a universal. And while it won't likely cost them in this game, they're going to regret the fact that they caught one up here. Yeah, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Here's Romo now on second down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he loses the football a second time. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So the offense able to recover the fumble, but it's third down now. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Throwing on third down, Romo. And this throw will be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Oh, Kaepernick's going to throw it. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 20 that time. And it'll give the Seahawks a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And a catch right side by Evans. A gain of six there on first. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Kaepernick to throw again. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett from three yards out. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Here's Hauschka for the extra point. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. The play fake for Elliott. Now Romo surveying the field. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's unable to grab it. 
Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, here playing here off the receivers. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Third and long here, it's Romo. He's got time in the pocket. Look at the time. And down he goes, a coverage sack. Took too long to get rid of it. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Fielded just inside the 30. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And, you know, all eyes were watching this one. Everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right. But I love the buildup to it, right? All all day long anticipating it and then we got here and we saw a game the first game of the year let's keep going so for the Seahawks they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener and they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers meanwhile for the Cowboys they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington so that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.